Uh, she, she asked why why Team Portnoy, and I said because you guys all came out to the golf tournament. You supported something that I'm passionate about. So I, I support you guys. I also did a uh, Mary Fuck yes. <laughs> Kill Dave, Dan, and PFT. Oh, wow. And I said they did, oh, they did wow. the big country oh, t-shirt. Oh, man. Yeah. But so he, tune, tune you know what? Tune, tune in to watch. Said, His answer, I was no. like, oh. This is a really good uh, white. It's a Puyani Montaché, which is 100% Chardonnay. It's from France, but it's not like buttery and was, That was the only thing I know. Was like, was it buttery? Like, There's not. OK, there we go. This week's Wine Walk, I'm joined by Minnesota Vikings tight end Kyle Rudolph. Excited about you, not excited about your team, but you know, what can we do? Your quarterback played for us for a few years. We those are those are years I that I change just, the colors of that cup if you would like. Those are years that I just black out completely. I don't accept them, don't receive them. Always green and gold. Yeah. Always, but his best statistical category was in purple and gold. We're we're not getting off to a good start here. Better By the way, drink wine. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It's it's good. So Waffle House, yeah. something that I'm sure you're used to? No, this is awesome. So, you know, I have family in Kentucky and Waffle House obviously a big southern thing and have you ever been to Once Over? I can't I can't promise that. Not not underage. No. We we don't do that. We're no. not we're not lawbreakers. We're not drinking on the streets of Atlanta in open containers. We no, don't we no, don't break no, no, the law. No, no. This is coffee. Yes, absolutely. Coffee. It I feel like this is a good opportunity for you to apologize to all the Minnesota fans out there because you're partly to blame for the no. Eagles winning a Super Bowl in your in stadium. In our stadium. Mm -hmm. It is something that I'll have to live with for the rest of my life, and it, it weighs deeply on my heart. Honestly, I think we have the best fans in Everybody sports. says that. Everybody no, says that. Think about everything they've been through, like the years of disappointment, and yet every year they come back and they're like, you know what, this is the team. We're going to do it this year. And we're already on to 2019. We're, uh -huh. This is All right, the Bill year. Belichick. <laughs> Put as much time into it as he could. And I also love how we're walking by a bunch of police officers with open containers. We're not doing anything. It's exactly. coffee. It's I don't great. know what you're, what you're yeah, talking about. That's, that's incredible. You got to get that <laughs> I back there. Didn't I mean, notice all that. Them police officers just standing right there as we walk by with giant cups of wine. You know what? They they, they respect you and your athletic ability, and that's yeah. why they're like, you know what? They're they're probably well, hydrating. There's no way he's drinking wine. <laughs> he's a professional athlete. Fuck kill, Dave, Dan, and PFT. Who you got? <laughs> I don't even know. Are you flushing? Um, yeah, I'm not I think I'm made, I think I made it. Well, I'm halfway through my glass of wine. Although no Big Cat answer. is, although Big Cat is, you know, working his way back into shape. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna kill Big Cat. <laughs> because uh, he's fat. No. You, you just got fat shaped. No. No fat shame. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta kill Big Cat. Oh man. He's a Bears fan. Um, we can okay, have that all right. Yeah, that's. Um, all right, that, that's good reason. Okay. For the record, I I'm, was not the one that said you were fat, Dan. She did say it. I, I said it. you're working hard, and I appreciate that. But you're still happy, is what you said. So. No. This isn't the biggest loser here. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll marry Dave as a member of Team Portnoy. We're, we're keeping okay, Dave. Okay, there it is. And looks like. PFT and I are, are getting it on. Let's go. He's got some good hair for you to hold on to, so. Oh. All right. Hey, there we go. Well, let's get serious here for a second. Serious. Because you're nominated for, and by the time this comes out, you would have, have either won or lost the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. Mm -hmm. What's that feeling like? I mean, it's cool. Again, you'll know then, but. Yeah, no, it's, it's awesome, and it's. It's a great honor. It would be 250 grand to your charity to of choice, so it would be to your hospital. Yeah, and that's on top of the 50 grand they've already given as a nominee and the 25 grand from the charity challenge. So it's, and, wow. I think that's incredible for the hospital. It's changing these patients and families' lives. You could choose either being the Walter Payton Man of the Year or winning the Super Bowl next year. What would you pick? Um, I would pick winning the Super Bowl next year because winning the Walter Payton Man of the Year is not going to change what we do in the community. Obviously, it would be an incredible honor, and it's one of the most prestigious things that we can get. Um, but I want to be a Super Bowl though, champion. Even though that's a team win, and this would be like a you, just everything it, you've it, done. It's not just me. There's so many other people that support what we do and help me, and you know that's part of it. It, it says Man of the Year Award, but there's so many other people that go into it. I mean, that just... That's the answer a winner would give. Officially my favorite Viking oh, of all time. You. We're not going to count Brett because that didn't happen. Okay. So. <laughs>